Hi, I'm Brian Cox, and I'd like to invite you to a movie that I'm extremely proud to be a part of. It's a movie called The Good Heart. Oh, Jacques, not again. Why can't you just die? Good to see you too, Olivia. I think he's one of the great characters. I mean, you know, you don't get roles like this every day. Um, when I read the part, it just came straight off the page. Unplug the smoke detector. Unplug the green wire. Oh. Jacques does feel that his days are numbered. You know, he does feel that he's about to make the big exit. And he sees Lucas as a kind of hope. Lucas! Lucas, you little punk! You're coming with me. What? You're coming with me. I appreciate it, Jacques, but I, I would just like to be left alone. Come with me, Lucas. I need your help. And he just says it. You're going to be my heir. I'm going to train you. You're going to, going to run this part. And Lucas allows it because Lucas is then given purpose. You have many things to learn, my friend. And I'm not going to give up until I've taught you everything. From now on, you're my student. I think Paul is an extraordinary young man. He has a great inner life, which is great for the camera. But you still got a lot to learn. We got to work on your attitude. I mean, you're not a natural when it comes to hostility and arrogance. But given time, it'll come. You have to know Dagor to know Jacques. This is a very unique writer because he's very funny. And his device is to use almost situation comedy to tell a kind of dark story. You see, we're not here to save people. We're here to destroy them. Uh, anybody who walks in and they're not a regular, he will challenge them in some way. What do you want? I'll have a Bloody Mary, please. And do you have organic tomato juice? Sorry, we're out of salary. This film is really about these two characters, and then the third character comes in is this young woman who's just been fired. Can I stay with you tonight? You mean like... I have no place to sleep, and I'm very tired. And eventually out of this comes a relationship with April, the relationship with the people in the bar, jealousy, all these things that probably Lucas was afraid of come to come to fruition. A bar is no place for a woman. They have the cafeterias and the patisseries. A bar is our space. It's a sanctuary where man can come and be free knowing that he's perfectly protected from any interference of the feminine. But she's got no money and no place to stay. Well, that's not your problem and it certainly isn't mine. We can't just throw her out on the street like garbage. Yes, we can. Secretly, Jacques really longs to be Lucas. He looks at this kid and he says, that was me at one time. Let's get married. But wouldn't we be moving a little bit fast? Yes. And Lucas starts to harden his edges. And of course, it's very sad to Jacques because this is not the Lucas that he saw. And he doesn't want Lucas to be this. Is April. She's gone. It's a damn shame. There's gonna be sparks around her. Huh? Got that right. What are you doing? Hey, whoa. There's some sparks for you. Here's to you, morons. <laughs> What's wrong with him? If she's not good enough for this place, then I'm out of here, too. You can't do that. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Just take a look, Jacques. 